By virtue of the powers vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby constitute this congregation of the Central University of Technology Free State for the purpose of awarding diplomas and conferring degrees. Chair of Council, Councillor Matthew Ransu, members of Council of the Central University of Technology, Acting Vice Chancellor and Principal Professor Alfred Ngoi, members of the Senate, Institutional Forum, Alumni Association President, SRC Presidents of Bloemfontein and Welcome Campuses, Students' Representative Council, graduates, parents, ladies and gentlemen, I offer my most cordial greetings to you, watching from the comfort of your homes and showing your support to our graduates for their well-deserved achievements. Before we proceed with conferring of degrees and awarding of diplomas and certificates, I wish to make the following cursory remarks. With the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, we experienced the most traumatic turbulence of global proportion, which has disrupted households, communities, the higher education sector, and the workplace in general. Although we are now at lock le lockdown level one, we must remain vigilant and steadfast in our fight against the pandemic. We need to constantly comply with the lockdown regulations so that infection rates can continue to decrease. Under the current conditions, we are seeing how digital technologies are taking center stage in shaping the adaptation strategies of universities to transform their research work as well as teaching and learning. A virtual graduation mode is an illustration of our adaptation to this change. I turn now to the business of the day. We shall now proceed with the conferring of degrees and awarding of diplomas and certificates. I shall then call on the deans of the faculties to present candidates for the various degrees, diplomas, and certificates. May I call upon the acting dean of the Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences, Professor H. Friedrich Nell, to present the candidates. Chancellor, Madam, I shall now introduce to you the candidates for the doctorate degrees in the Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Nafor Christopher Ugochukwu, a candidate for the doctorate degree, technological agriculture degree. The title of his thesis is Adoption of ICT-based market information sources for commercializing smallholder livestock farming systems, a case study of Alfred Nzo district in the Eastern Cape province. Christopher Utukwe Nafor holds a B.A. Greek Tech degree in the Agriculture, Economics and Extension from the Federal University of Technology, Uweri, Nigeria, a Master of Arts degree in the Development Studies from the University of Cape Coast, Ghana, an M.Tech Agriculture degree from the Central University of Technology, Free State, and a master's degree public management from Durban University of Technology. He is an Orange Knowledge Scholar and alumnus of the Wageningen University and Research Center for Development Innovation. For his doctoral study, he examined the linkage between use of information communication technology, ICT sources, and participation in markets among smallholder livestock farmers, utilizing an adapted framework for analysis and modeling of factors influencing ICT adoption, the research investigated use of ICT sources and identified information needs and information seeking behavior. Findings from the research showed a significant effect on market participation from use of ICT sources with information seeking behavior influenced by farmers' personal characteristics. The study concluded that ICTs enhanced market participation and that farmers' socioeconomic characteristics were important determinants for ICT source adoption. 
while contributing to empirical evidence in ICT use among smallholder farmers, it also modelled factors that influence ICT source adoption and developed a framework for analysis. Three articles emanating from the research were published in accredited academic journals. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Van Wyk Marie, a candidate for the degree Doctor of Health Sciences in Biomedical Technology. The title of her thesis is Comparative Genomics of Mycobacteria, Identification of Novel Anti-Tubercular Drug Targets. Marie van Wyk obtained a national diploma BTEC and MTEC degree in Biomedical Technology at the Central University of Technology Free State. Comparative genomics is a powerful tool that can help in identifying unique or common genes among organisms. These genes can be used as a drug target when combating pathogens. Her doctoral study is such an example, where she identified unique genes in a deadly human pathogen Mycobacterium tuberculosis H37RV that cause tuberculosis. Analysis of genomes of eight different microbacterial species belonging to six different categories revealed the presence of 200 genes unique to Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Some of these unique genes functions were also predicted using the genome mapping technique. In total, Ms. van Wyk published four research articles in highly reputed international journals and has presented work at national and international conferences. She is currently a medical writer at a contract research organization for pharmaceutical research. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Perkins, Johannes Joseph, a candidate for the degree Doctor of Health Sciences in Clinical Technology. The title of his thesis is A Sustainable Clinical Simulation Framework for Pre-Specialization Clinical Technology Training in South Africa. Johan qualified as a clinical technologist specialized in critical care at the Technicon Free State in 1998. He obtained his BTEC degree at the Central University of Technology Free State in 2003. Johan worked as a critical care technologist for 20 years in various intensive care units, mainly focusing on neonatology. In 2017, he joined the CUT as a junior lecturer and obtained his master's degree in health sciences. With this thesis, the candidate contributed to the development and training of clinical technology students. The correct use of clinical simulation in clinical technology students' training in South Africa is currently lacking. The development of the simulation framework initiated the optimal use of clinical simulation as a training and assessment method for clinical technology students, and it is the first of its kind in South Africa. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Belle Gladys Newer, a candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Health. The title of her thesis is Contamination of Water, Soil and Plants by potential harmful elements from gold mine tailings in Machabeng, local municipality, South Africa. Gladys New Bell was born in Bengui, Cameroon on 15 November 1975. She matriculated at Government High School Ikondu Titi and obtained her GCE award at advanced level in 1997. She obtained a BSc Honours Degree in Environmental Sciences in 2003 from the University of Buya, Cameroon. She worked for 10 years as a high school educator in Lesotho, 
before joining the Central University of Technology Free State in 2012 to further her education in environmental health. She then obtained a BTEC degree in 2012 and an MTEC degree cum laude in 2015, both from the CUT. With her thesis, the candidate developed an environmental pollution index specifically for mining areas. The candidate further developed a framework used to describe the overall risk classification in a study area. The results from the study provides scientific facts and evidence that can be used as a baseline for further research on remediation and mitigation of contaminants in a mining area. Her findings have been published in an international DHET accredited journal, while two other articles are under review to be published in accredited journals. The work has also been presented at national and international conferences. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Janssen Kathy Elizabeth, a candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Health. The title of her thesis is Comparison of Alkaline Hydrolysis and Neuster Sterilizing Alternative Treatment Technologies and Cultural Beliefs on Placenta Management in Gauteng, South Africa. Kathy Elizabeth Janssen holds a Master's Degree in Environmental Health from the Central University of Technology, Free State. She is currently an Assistant Director, Environmental Health Services in Tswane District Health Services in Pretoria, Gauteng. In her doctoral study, she made a substantial contribution to the technological, scientific knowledge of and insight into the subject of alkaline hydrolysis and the new stir sterilizing alternative treatment technologies and cultural beliefs on placenta management in Gauteng, South Africa. Independent and original thought preceded the findings and are applicable to the healthcare sector and traditional and cultural beliefs in Gauteng, South Africa. Innovative developments such as a standard operating procedure and educational pamphlets were developed to make patients aware of their right to request to take their placentas home before mandatory processes are initiated. Chancellor, Madam, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to present Ratebe Poka Kaifas, a candidate for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Health. The title of his thesis is occupational exposure to radiofrequency energy and static magnetic fields in MRI units in the public sector within the Magmahum metropolitan region. Mr. Radebe is currently employed as a lecturer in the Department of Environmental Health, University of Johannesburg. He holds a national diploma cum laude, BTEC cum laude and MHSC cum laude in environmental health from the Central University of Technology, Free State. His thesis investigated occupational exposure to radio frequency, energy and static magnetic fields and how the perceived safety of 1.5 and 3 Tesla MR scanners can influence the health and safety of MR staff. This is the first study to prove that the reporting of transient health effects from exposure to MRI-related radiofrequency energy and static magnetic does not influence how workers perceive the safety of MR scanners. Mr. Atebe also developed a health and safety model to mitigate exposure scenarios in both 1.5 and 3 Tesla MRI units. His work produced four peer-reviewed publications in international journals and two conference proceedings from the international conferences. Chancellor, Madam, I request you to confer the doctoral degrees 
of the Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences on all doctoral candidates presented. I confer the doctoral degree in the Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences on Noafo Christopher Ugo Chuku, Van Veik Mari, Perkins Johannes Joseph, Bell Gladys Nyo, Janssen Kathy Elizabeth, Ratebe Poka Kaifas. Chancellor, Madam, I shall now introduce the candidates for the Magister and the Master's degrees in the Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences. Master of Agriculture, Akakbu Patience Siram. The title of the dissertation is Cultivation of African Potato Using a Nutrient Solution. Agua Bafur. The title of the dissertation is Socioeconomic Implications of a Revised Agricultural Skills Development Plan for the Dikatlung Municipality, Northern Cape. Becker Stephanus Johannes. The title of the dissertation is Phenotypic Characterization of Meat Master Sheep Using Qualitative and Quantitative Trait Analysis. Ntuli Londeka. The title of the dissertation is Appraisal of Production Practices of Goat Farmers in the Selected District of the KwaZulu Natal Province. Master of Health Sciences in Biomedical Technology. Uke Ifedulapu Mariam. The title of the dissertation is Zinc Vanillic Acid Complex Synthesis, Characterization and Evaluation of Anti-Diabetic and Antioxidative Properties. Master of Health Sciences in Environmental Health. Adwins Mongezi. The title of the dissertation is Water Quality of the Fontaine Spray Stream on the Outskirts of Bloemfontein Free State, South Africa. Moloi Malaratu Patricia. The title of the dissertation is The Prevalence of Antibiotic Resistant Bacteria in Street Vended Foods. Motahum Mamelu Acnes. The title of the dissertation is Solid Waste Dumping and Burning Practices in the Lesotho Lowlands. Mutibi Tebatsu Cum Laude. The title of the dissertation is Dental Healthcare Waste Management Practices in the Greater Tswani Region. Tondini Senzano Sibusiswe Cum Laude. The title of the dissertation is Inhibitory Effect of Essential Oils Against Oral Pathogens Affecting Titanium Based Dental Implants. Ramaswi Retabile. The title of the dissertation is Prevalence of HIV AIDS in Tuberculosis Patients Living in the Lowlands of Mafeteng District in Lesotho. Rusvitsu Silent Cum Laude. The title of the dissertation is Effects of Evapotranspiration on Water Quantity and Quality Along the Modder River Catchment using remote sensing. Vujeka Lloyd Rodney, cum laude. The title of the dissertation is Vegetation Cover Dynamics and the Environmental Threats to Biodiversity Conservation in the Free State National Botanical Garden, South Africa. Master of Radiography. Toya Leandre Madeleine. The title of the dissertation is Chest Radiography Optimizing the Dose at Industrial Mines in the Northern Cape. Chancellor, Madam, I request that you confer the degrees and award the certificates and diplomas to the candidates 
who have qualified for these awards, whose names appear in the program. I shall confer the degrees and award the certificates and diplomas as requested. Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences. Baccalaureus Technology Degrees. Baccalaureus Technology Agricultural Management. Lituka KCP. Sokanyile SA. Baccalaureus Technology Environmental Health. Mavimbela, BN. Rakhole, MA. Advanced Diplomas. Advanced Diploma in Agricultural Extension. Tseate, OO. Advanced Diploma in Health Management. Cindy GM National Diplomas National Diploma Agricultural Management Dijani TP National Diploma Environmental Health Kota B Teleki RN National Diploma Somatology Mojapelo NT Tato T Diplomas Diploma in Biomedical Technology Makubela V Diploma in Somatology Gamede SN Madam Chancellor Justice Mulemela Chairperson of Council Councillor Matthew Ranzo Members of Council Senate Institutional Forum SRC Presidents of Bluefontein and Welcome Campuses, Management Committee members, representatives from business, government, and industry, graduates, parents and guardians, members of staff, our CUT community and the family at large, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor for me to deliver this address of the second visual graduation ceremony of 2021 at the Central University of Technology, Free State. I wish to mention that this is the first graduation ceremony that I'm officiating as the acting vice chancellor and principal since my appointment earlier this month, for which I am humbly appreciative. I wish to extend my sincerest welcome to you as we celebrate this grand occasion at which we'll be witnessing and conferring the qualifications on spouses, sons and daughters, parents and guardians and friends. I agree with the Madam Chancellor, Justice Molomela, in her remarks earlier that the COVID-19 pandemic has brought about the most traumatic turbulence of global proportion, which has been disruptive to many sectors, including universities. This visual graduation ceremony today is a testament of our efforts to adopting to the new normal. While CUT continues to apply stringent measures to ensure safety of students, staff, and the other stakeholders during this time, we urge everyone to take care of their own health and well-being. It is important to adhere to all the preventative protocols as prescribed by the Department of Health 
in order to minimize the risk of infection for yourself and for others. We urge our graduates, staff and students to act responsibly and follow a strict hand hygiene regime, maintain physical distance, and restrict movement as much as possible. As CUT, we will continue to do our part in preventing infectious, infection risks and to combat this disease with research and science. Together, we'll be able to overcome this pandemic. The graduates who were announced today are part of 802 recipients to whom the university has conferred degrees, diplomas, certificates in 2021. Out of the qualifications that have been conferred this year, 17 are doctoral degrees, while 31 are master's degrees. About 754 are the undergraduate degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Ladies and gentlemen, a graduation is one of the most important elements in one's personal life. It is, it is the pinnacle of a student's academic pursuits and the outcome of several years or months of toiling despite many setbacks. We are aware of the struggles that students must overcome in order to reach the finishing line. And for that, we take off our heads to you. You deserve a round of applause. I find it befitting that I also acknowledge the contribution of academic staff for your consistent efforts and the unwavering dedication to delivering education that is of high standard. You too deserve to be congratulated and celebrated. Equally, you deserve a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, we take our 2030 vision seriously as a leading African University of Technology. The foundation has been laid at ours is to contribute towards this vision by our thoughts and action. We have made a cons conscious decision not to succumb to the notion that the country faces a bleak future. CUT has exploited the opportunity to promote innovation and entrepreneurship as a means of bridging the employment gap. In fact, CUT is among leading universities of technology in driving the entrepreneurship and innovation agenda in higher education. It remains our aspiration to equip young people with the skills and knowledge that are a prerequisite for growing their own businesses and creating job opportunities for others. Since we started building an entrepreneurial education and innovation program in, 1914, in, in 2014, we have not looked back as entrepreneurship and innovation are now embedded in our teaching and learning, research, as well as the community engagement programs. And we have established robust innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystems at both of our campuses. This year, the unveiling of IGIM, that is a place where ideas are discussed to determine their commercial viability at the Welcome Campus was a remarkable development which has also bolstered efforts towards scaling up the entrepreneurship and innovation programs in the Northern Free State. Our staff, students, and the community will use this hub to transform ideas into commercially viable products. Graduates, a tertiary qualification renders you more privileged than the previous generation as you constitute the first generation to obtain your qualifications since 1994. 
I certainly hope that this will be enough to inspire you to create jobs for others. I encourage you to rise to the occasion. I urge you to create your own wealth by pursuing entrepreneurship as an alternative to seeking employment. By focusing on entrepreneurship, you will not only be creating employment for yourselves, but for others as well. In closing, allow me to commend our graduates for their well-deserved achievement. I wish to reiterate my appreciation to the parents and guardians, spouses and lecturers for the important role that they have played in your academic life. I also wish to thank support staff from all divisions, notably the registrar and her team, for the sterling leadership in providing direction to all role players during the preparations of this huge academic project. You have made our university proud on many occasions. Lastly, I wish to commend Madam Chancellor Justice Mulemela for presiding over this graduation ceremony of 2021. Our council for their leadership and the commitment to CUT and their contribution to its advancement. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare this congregation of the Central University of Technology, Free State, officially dissolved. On behalf of the Central University of Technology, Free State, and the congregation, I thank our graduates for choosing this university as your intellectual home. You are truly privileged to be graduating at the time the world is looking up to you for solutions of the 21st century. To our partners, thank you for your contribution to the advancement of this university. I thank you.